G'day viewers, I am out of York today. I'm spending a few days up in York, rural Western Australia, doing a complete installation, which I don't really do a great deal of these days, to be honest. I'm doing that out at Coring, but while I'm up here, I'm getting a few other jobs done as well. Um, this one here is an inverter swap over, and again, that poor old inverter was installed on a northern facing wall um, that's north there it's shaded at the moment because the sun's coming up from over the east and um, the, the installation is actually pretty good they've done a pretty good job um, but yeah that was a, a big fail putting the inverter in the direct sun I've said it before I'll say it again no inverter or no battery can be installed in direct sunlight it makes them derate the power because they get too hot it makes them shut down and it drastically shortens their lifespan um, our Australian summer heat gets pretty bloody hot uh, so don't install them in the direct sun if you have no choice then you can buy covers for them there's a couple of companies in Australia one that comes to mind is sunny covers um, and there's a, there's a couple of others and you know what just bloody get a bit of metal made up to cover it or something anything just cover it make sure you leave the top open so it can vent because there's a big heat sink at the back of these you can see it there so the heat needs to come out and all inverters need a certain gap between the top there as well so don't cover the top of it don't cover the bottom of it because the it'll draw the cool air up and it'll come out at the top there uh, so don't cover the heat sink that's only been on for 20 minutes that's getting warm already um, and it's not even making much power. So that's important, keep the direct sun off it. Um, this poor thing, not a great inverter anyway, they're a mid-range inverter, but it's only five, six years old. Um, usual story, uh, re original retail is gone. Um, the screen was completely blank, but they had a power and an operation light on um, and an alarm light, which was indicating it was not working. Um, so, make sure you don't put your bloody inverters in the sun installers um, and homeowners if it is and there's no choice you need to get a cover for it um, so yeah where am i at the moment i'm not quite sure i think it's warding east i don't know i just followed google maps but uh here we are out in the wheat belt fixing up solar g'day viewers still in york i'm in town site now and uh, just having a look at this sun grow inverter uh, it's coming up with an error code 38 which if i do a google search indicates a earth uh insulation resistance fault so i've checked all my dc voltages and insulation resistance they're all good uh short circuit currents all good and now I've checked the AC and we do have, uh, if I disconnect the earth from the inverter to the main earth, I do get around 116 volts between the two. So that tells me the inverter is faulty. I've called SunGrow just to confirm. Uh, they were very helpful. Uh, this inverter, the serial number tells us by that J17, it was manufactured in 2017. The standard warranty on this inverter is five years, so unfortunately it is out of warranty and will be a replacement. Um, in the course of doing that, I've had a look at the solar panels. Now the solar panels are okay. They are what's called Opal Solar, which was um, solar juice is a distributor or a wholesaler in australia of uh, solar products and solar juice had their own brand of panel for a while there which was opal that's what these are they are however just a rebadged astrology panel um, which is a mid-range panel they're nothing flash um, but they were delisted from the clean energy council approved products list i think in 21 i think um, because they um, I believe the issue was a power output issue. The power output didn't correlate with the claimed um, output of the panel. I could be wrong there. Either way, they were delisted. But the panels are all good. Nothing wrong with them. 
electrically they check out fine and there's no water ingress or um, snail trails or anything like that so they're all good it's going to be a replacement inverter uh, it does cop a little bit of midday sun that is east that's north that's west so our sun's going to come straight over us and as you can see right there so it does get a little bit of sun i don't know how long that shade cell's been there for but something a bit more appropriate might be required not that uh, i believe that is the issue here uh, it's just simply breakdown of electrical components internally could have been contributed by the sun uh, getting too hot uh, obviously electronics don't like heat but um yeah not not too sure but uh yeah new inverter on its way for this one. Cheers guys.